In this video, I'll be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create dashboards for your contractors on Notion. Now, if you have an online business, dashboards within Notion can be used to delegate, supervise, and keep track of all the tasks that you give to your team. I'll be walking you guys through the entire process so you'll be able to follow along even if you're a total beginner to using something like Notion. Okay, so here I am on Notion's webpage. And um, if you guys are interested, Charlie and I are gonna be leaving a link down in the description for you guys to check out. And basically, once you guys click on that link, it's gonna bring you to this webpage and and right here where it says try notion free you're gonna click on that and right here it's gonna ask you to sign up using your email address and password so I'm gonna put mine in right now and once you type in your email they're gonna send that email a sign up code so you're just gonna go ahead and copy that from your email paste it into here and then click on create new account then it's gonna bring you to the welcome to notion page and then right here you're gonna be able to add a photo right now I'll just keep it blank and then it's gonna ask you what should we call you this is where you put your name so I'll just put Joey and then it's gonna ask you to set a password so I'm just gonna set a new password and then once that's done it's gonna ask you three questions just for them to customize your experience. And so you have a bunch of different options here. You have product management, sales, engineering, and all this other stuff. But for this one, I'll just choose other. Right here, ask what's your role, and I'll use executive. And it's gonna ask you what you're planning to do in Notion. And once again, you can just choose whatever you want. I'm gonna choose project management for this. But you know, depending on what your answers are, it's gonna customize your Notion to be able to give you the best experience. Once I'm done with that, I'll click on continue. And then it's gonna ask me if I'm planning on using Notion with my team or for myself. Now, if you're gonna be inviting people to your Notion, you are gonna be required to have the pro plan but if you have a student account then the pro plan is actually going to be free so right now i'll just choose try for free and then i'll click continue and then right here i can create a workspace name so if you have a company that you want to call it then you can call it that but for now i'll just call this joey's workspace and i'll click continue from there you're going to be able to send invites to your team members but for now i'll just have it take me to notion okay so once i'm on notion it's going to redirect me to this getting started page and this is basically like a mini tutorial flash tour of the notion space and as you can see right here you have your team spaces along with your private spaces. They already have a team tasks page set up for you along with a team home. So if you guys want, feel free to use the template that Notion already gives you. And right here underneath the team section, you can actually add the dashboards. So this will be good for one of your teams, but let's say you have a different business, right? So for example, let's say you have two different YouTube automation channels. So if you wanna create another team space, you would just have to go up to the team spaces right here. And on the right hand side, you see a plus sign and you just click on that. And from here, you can choose the icon, name, description, and permissions of your new team space. For example, second automation channel team and then create team space. And then for here, it's gonna ask you which members you wanna add from your Notion to your new team space. For now, I'm just gonna click skip. And it's basically gonna make a duplicate of the one that you guys saw right here. Now, if you guys are just starting out and you wanna just make it private, then what you could do is you can go down to private right here and click on add a page. And from here, you can create the custom dashboard on your own. So right here, I'll just name it dashboard and then I'll give it just for myself. And then you can also add an icon, a cover and a comment. So if I click on that, it's gonna give me an icon of some jeans. If I wanna change that, I can go in and change that. Just change it to this right here. And I can also add a cover image. So it's gonna give me that, but I can also change it to whatever I want. Let's just say I want it to be this one. And from here, I basically have an open page where I can put anything I want. One of the things that I like to do is I like to go up to the top right hand corner where it has the three dots and I'll click on that. And then I'll click on full width. This is gonna basically make it so that the entire page gets filled up with whatever you're writing. Instead of only being stuck to that one like center part of the page. I like how this looks when you have something like a board. So I can just do slash board and then it'll create the board view. And it's gonna ask you to select a data source. So I'll just click on new database. And for this, I'll just name it daily to do's. And as you guys can see, it's gonna be stuck in the center right here. So if I want it to be full width, I think it just looks better that way. And that way I could have everything filled the entire page. You also have the ability to add different views. So right here next to the board view, you have a plus icon. And if I click on that, so right here it says table, I can also change it to timeline, calendar, list, gallery, or whatever I want. So let's say I want to change it to table and you can also mess around with these settings. For now, I'll just click on done. And yeah, now I can go back and forth between my board view and my table view. If you guys want to create other pages, then you just have to click on the empty space on the bottom and you can type in whatever you want. So let's say you want to create some SOPs. I would just write SOPs right there. And if I want, I can go to the block and then click on these six dots right here. And I can go to turn into, and then I have all of these different options to choose from. For this one, I'll choose page. So if I click onto SOP, then it's gonna basically enter into a new page. And from here, I can write down my SOPs. So whatever SOP 
recipes that you want. If I wanna go back, then I'll just have to go to the top left right here and I can go back to the dashboard. If you guys just type in the slash button, then you guys are basically gonna have an entire menu to choose from. As you guys saw, I created a board view right here, but you know, you can create all of these different views. You can add in any images, bookmarks, videos. You can even embed things like Google Drive docs. And yeah, there's a lot that you guys can experiment with. I personally like the table view for any dashboards that I create. And if you wanna change any of these right here, then you just have to click on this plus button right here. And it's gonna basically allow you to add a column to your table. So let's say I just wanna add a text property and I can name this like notes. And then if I exit out of that, then basically this is gonna be the notes section. So for each task, let's say I can rename this to task one. And let's say I wanna give it a note. This task is for whatever, whatever. And yeah, I can give it a due date. So let's say it's due tomorrow. And in here I can add reminders. And what's cool is these views actually sync together. So let's say I add a calendar view, right? So I'm gonna add the calendar view and then click done. And as you guys can see, task one is already set to the 24th. And if I go back to the, let's say board view and I go to card two and I change the date to the 25th, I can go out of there and click back on the calendar view. And you guys can see that the card two is now due on the 25th. So yeah, super cool that all of these views sync together. And yeah, I think you guys are starting to see how much the this thing can help with your organization. Now, the last thing that you have to do is just share this with your contractor. If it's on a private or if it's on team spaces, then all they would have to do is be invited to your workspace. But if you don't have the pro plan, then what I recommend is actually inviting them as a guest. And the way to do that is you would click on the top right hand corner right here where it says share. And yeah, you could just add in their email and then click invite. Overall, I recommend that you guys just experiment with everything. And yeah, they just have so many different templates to choose from. So if I click on templates down here, and I'm gonna have access to a bunch of different templates and they're also separated by different categories as well. So you can see all these ones are under product management. These ones are for design, engineering, marketing, human resources, sales, support, and yeah, they just have a ton of them. Hopefully this will help with organizing everything that you have in your business. Again, we'll be leaving a link down in the description for you guys to check out Notion. And yeah, I think it's a really good platform to use if you're new to business. And it's actually what Charlie used for the majority of his businesses when starting out. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. We make a ton of tutorials and how-to guides dedicated to helping new entrepreneurs start their own business. And if you know anybody out there that can benefit from these videos, please be sure to share it with them as well. That's all for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.